Good morning, friends. We are back on week six. We are on our way to go check the Purple Martins, check out for more eggs today. We are gonna give you a tour of this place. In this box were bluebirds, mm -hmm. and they were RTF, ready to fledge. Okay. So <laughs> they should be gone. So if you want to just open it up and, and give it a peek, make sure they're gone. Then we're going to clean the nest out because they will nest again. No, they're going to scare me. Just, are they gone? Oh. Is yeah. there a new egg? Yes. How many eggs? One, two. No, two eggs. Two eggs? Two blue eggs. Okay, so they fledged last week and to fledge, means they flew from the nest for the first time and she's quick so usually it's a week or two before they uh, start a second nest <coughs> and the father takes care of the young mm -hmm. taking care of them and uh, feeding them teaching them how to find their own food because uh, they'll just keep begging and begging and then she'll start a new nest but she is really quick yeah. because last Sunday they were in there. Uh, the other thing is this um, spring, our weather has been bad. Yeah. And, you know, they, they need to hurry up and get a couple nests off, and they're late. This is good. This is good that, you know, they're, they're on it, and she's got two more eggs. She'll have four to six eggs in her clutch of eggs. Okay, so this one is going to be tree swallows. And last week they had six eggs. Oh! Are they babies? Yes. Okay, there should be six babies. They're actually called nestlings. Are they pretty naked? Yes. Okay. Let me, you want me to grab each one to see how many we have? Six. Oh yes. yes. Okay, so they're about two days old. <laughs> two, <laughs> maybe three. It's so cute. Aren't they cute? And they don't open their eyes until they're about eight, nine days old. And they're totally reliant on the parents to come in and feed them. And the parents will make a, a disturbance when they hit the hole. And um, they're gonna wake up and and, and right in th and they know that they're going to be fed. Oh, so also, um, they will make a little chirping, warbling sound, and then that's when the young gape their head and throw their head back so that they can get food. So I keep notes every week, and then I put it on Cornell Nest Watch. And then I like to have my notes from the last week so that I know what's going on at the box. How was it? Oh, there's a cute, there's a tiny there like this big. But yeah, we need donations. Darlene, how can people donate? They can go to the ohiobluebirdsociety.org website and they can donate to the education. Uh, we're trying to work a lot with youth and we have uh, a lot of teens that are monitoring trails and putting their data on Nestwatch, doing a really nice job. And Nestwatch is through Cornell and it's citizen science. We're contributing to citizen science. We're contributing uh, to professors around the country, around the world who are doing research and they use our data. Yeah, this year with the coronavirus, it's a little harder to to some fundraisers. So if you're watching and you would like to donate, go to the link below. There was one bluebird egg last week. So you'll have either four to six. Four to six. Uh-huh. Eggs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you did a really nice job, Inez. This is a bluebird nest. A female just came out. When they lay an egg, so last Sunday, she laid her first egg. There's four eggs in there. So we know that she finished laying on Wednesday. 
and then Wednesday is the day that she would start to incubate when she lays the last egg. So incubation is 14 days typically. So 14 days a week from this coming Wednesday, they should hatch. This is a tree swallow nest. Ha, ah, we have babies. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, nice. We oh. have four, four babies and one egg. Do you see that these boxes are paired? Yes. Okay, so they're paired to get bluebirds and tree swallows. And we try to have them around 15, 18 feet apart. And if, if you go farther apart, 22 to 25, then tree swallows would nest side by side. But with them closer together, uh, then, then they will, bluebirds will take one and tree swallows will take two. Bluebirds are eating insects off the ground and tree swallows are an aerial insect eater. So they're not competing for the same type of food, so they'll nest close together. When they get the food, uh, they roll it into this ball in their mouth, mm -hmm. and it's called a bolus, B-O-L-I-S, mm -hmm. and it's like a ball of protein. So it's all these aerial insects. And then they shove it into the bird's mouth. Just tap, there you go. <laughs> and it's really good how she's opening this. She doesn't stand in front. She stands to the side. We have four eggs, white. Well, yeah. Four or five? Oh, oh yeah. Four, four eggs, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. I'm on the wrong one. We have five. It had a nest last week. I'm hoping it has eggs this week. <laughs> that was a bluebird. Yeah, four. That's for it's, the butterflies. It's milkweed and it's the food source and egg laying. It's where they lay their eggs. And then when the caterpillars, when the eggs hatch and the caterpillars go through their end star, their growth then they eat the leaves. And that's for the monarch? Yes, that's for the monarch. Let's see if they have fledged. Okay. Oh, yeah, we have... <laughs> they have feathers. Oh, they do? Yes. Yeah, they have blue feathers. Ah, so... <laughs> when do they start? There, sh there should be four. Okay. And you have to be careful if they're um, um, 14 days old. Yeah, because they fly. They, they can fly. So. so this is a new area. Mm -hmm. It's the second year that these boxes have been here, where some of the boxes have been here 32 years. And we thought this would be a nice area because of the different trees that are around, single trees where they can guard their box from the tree. And that helps them to take better care of the female and the young. There he is. There, So he wants us to get away. Yeah. Yeah, he's flying around us. So let's move on so they can feed. Oh yeah, there's a wasp's nest on the corner. I a stick. You're getting a stick? Yeah, there's a wasp in there. There's a little wasp nest. Okay. Yeah. You want me to try to kill him? Oh, you got it. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Okay, very good. Muy bueno. <laughs> 
So yeah. when you when you open the box, um, that powder came out, and what the powder is, it is the feather shafts that break down as the feather is pushing out, and it leaves that powder. Sometimes they nest three times during a season. Wow. The latest that I've had bluebirds fledge is four days after Labor Day. So bluebirds for their, oh, there she came. Ha. Bluebirds for their, um, their habitat, their nesting habitat, they need Ooh, a yeah. football field. 100 to 125 yards apart from the boxes or out of line of sight and that's easily a hundred the box down there mm -hmm. that's easily 125 yards or more so this is a really nice area and it, right now it's getting three pair of bluebirds and one pair of tree swallows in this small area Wow. And you can see there's a bird up there guarding in that dead tree. Oh yeah, two. So they, you know, they have nice places to keep track of their their female and then to help feed the young. Five eggs? Yeah. Ooh, nice. <laughs> yep, she wants, she must have babies. And oh yeah, is. she has a lot of babies. Oh no, they're cheap. They're babies. <sighs> Are the eyes open? No, 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 they're babies. Okay. Oh. Okay, come back. Newborn or? No, no egg. Okay. So, yeah, Nest. you can clean her out. Oh, this bike have a little hole. Okay. Right. So we're gonna see if it's the male or the female, and we're gonna check her brood patch. Oh. Oh yeah. So that's her brood patch. I was so hoping to be able to show you this and you can feel how warm that is yeah so that's how she keeps the young warm and how she incubates the eggs look at her little beak she's so pretty and this is how you hold a bird you put it between these two fingers and then it's back against your palm so you can control the wings and this doesn't hurt her neck at all Okay. But this is a bander's hold. Like this? Uh huh. Isn't that cool? Ah. Okay, we have six babies and one egg. Okay. Okay, more. Okay. How fast do they build the nest? Um, they can usually build a nest in three, four to seven days. Um, depends on how ready she is to start laying. Uh, bluebirds take a little bit longer. And then the, the male and female um, find the feathers, so they've got to put a few feathers in the cup of the nest. But again, the feathers are usually chicken or duck. Oh. Uh, sometimes bird, but mostly chicken and duck because they like the curved feathers mm -hmm. so that they curve up around them. Oh, yeah. And another type of feather, I can see it from here, are uh, great blue heron feathers. Okay. This look more brown and bigger. Yeah, so they're a little bit older. Yeah. They might be um, oh, okay. Go six to seven days old.
this rig. So we're gonna do uh, the second rig right now. Okay, we're in our last rig. We found a few eggs on the second rig. Let's check. Five eggs in here. Eggs have three, in the, three eggs. <laughs> <laughs> you happy? Yes. What was the total of eggs, Sterling? Oh, yeah, the total, the total on, the on the rigs is 70. 70 eggs? Yeah, yeah, your your rig had 36 and the other two had 17 each. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's it, exciting. That is. Do you think we're going to have more? Oh, definitely more. How long, how much? Um, so I'm going to guess between 150 and 175. Murder. That was so exciting. Uh, we found. 70 plus eggs on the three rigs. These birds are so happy. We're happy too because they're having eggs. They're laying eggs. All right, we're not finished yet. We've been here this morning since 8 in the morning, about two hours ago. And uh, we've also been checking the other boxes for bluebirds and tree swallows. So. Yeah, this is a baby. Yeah, we'll have to leave them in oh, there. Oh, yeah. They're big. They're about to fledge? Yeah. yeah. We're not bad. We're not bad. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. See the charcoal gray? <laughs> We've been here for about two hours. We're almost yeah, done. This is little tree swallow is trying to hit my wife in the head. That's so funny. I think we have some babies in here. Look at how big they are. Is that 17? Okay, we are wrapping up this episode. Thank you for coming along with us. It was such a beautiful day today. Uh, we were able to find so many. It was so much fun. It was fun. We found we so 70, many. 75 eggs. Yeah, 70 plus eggs. We were able to check on the bluebirds and the tree swallows. We saw a lot of babies. Some of them fled in front of our eyes. <laughs> it was awesome. One of them was hitting a nest on the head. <laughs> she was really mad. She was protecting her seven eggs. Well, no, seven babies. It was great. Next week, expect a little bit more of this. Uh, and hopefully, we have more eggs. We're expecting about 200 laid eggs by the purple marks. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you uh, click on the little bell so you get notified once our episodes are up and ready for you to watch. We'll see you next week. Bye.